Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about some new potential leaks or like spoilers for Season 6 of The Flash. We've got an interesting new photo to go over, but also we're going to be talking about some updates as in regards to all of the Arrowverse shows because we got official episode counts how many episodes we're going to get in every single show this season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay so this is as we head in towards the summer we're obviously in June right now and they're actually going back today the Flash team to start production well, at least start, like, prepping for production, essentially, for when the cast and crew all officially come back in about early July, which is when it's supposed to be happening. So, basically, what has happened is a few people have gone back and watched a few of the past episodes, and they've gone over and found, actually, an image, and this image is of a new suit... Well, a suit that we've never seen as it is right now. This was from the episode, which was episode 17 this season, where we go in the future and it's in 2049 and we see part of the Star Lab archives. And so Iris is actually in this photo you'll see on the screen right here. And this shows a suit. If we go closer, you can see right here we brightened it up a bit. This suit is the Flash season 4 suit, but different. And so. You have to remember, when they're making TV and films, everything is plotted out very, very carefully. Everything you see in the frame, in the screen, well, your TV screen in this instance, has been put there on purpose. So from this, we can infer that this suit is supposed to be a future Flash suit that he's going to have at some point. And so some of you, at first glance, are like, oh, this is just the Flash Season 4 suit. Well, yeah, you're kind of right about that, but we'll explain why it's different. And just first off, I've seen some comments on Reddit where they're talking about, oh, this is a fake photo, this is from, you know, just some leaks from online, and this is actually the suit they're going to be using in Season 6. None of that has been actually confirmed, but this is not fake, this is 100% real. This was in Episode 17 this season, and this was where we saw the different iterations of the flash rings. There was new iterations, so we can infer that Barry's going to get more flash rings. And from this, you can infer that Barry gets a new suit. But this suit is the Flash Season 4 suit design, but it has the red emblem. So that is really, really intriguing. It obviously has the chin strap, as the Flash Season 4 suit did. But it's got a different emblem. So they recreated this suit, which was originally destroyed. Maybe they did actually have a backup in the costume department. So maybe that's what they've used. They haven't, like, created a whole new suit, maybe. But they have switched it out. So they've put in a red flash emblem. Not a white one that he's been using a lot recently since, you know, season one. So they've recreated it. They've changed the suit. They've put it in the shot on purpose. It's very visible. It's obviously meant to be seen. So you presume there is plans for this to be a future Flash suit where he goes away from this not very good design last season in terms of his Flash suit and he goes back and gets a version of his season 4 suit but he has the old Flash emblem, he has the red one instead of the white. So will this be a new suit for season 6? I've heard a lot of questions about this although this isn't like a well-known photo right now. Maybe after this video and after some other YouTubers do it, maybe more people get talking about it. But I've only seen a little bit of talk among a few people and a lot of people believe this is the Season 6 suit. And I would like to believe that. I would love to believe that we would go back to Chin Strap, we would have a proper cow, and it would be something like this. Although I wasn't a big fan of the Season 4 suit, looking back, damn, it's so much better than the Season 5 suit. So I'm totally down and it makes sense that they would go for a future Flash suit that sort of is in line with what Barry saw when he went to the future a few seasons ago and obviously that became the season 4 suit which he had so it makes sense that he would go back to something original something that he used to have because this new suit is from the future Nora actually gave it back so technically maybe the Flash suit he's been wearing this season shouldn't exist anymore maybe that will be changed Maybe that is part of a timeline change that happens, so that suit 
it ceased to exist, maybe because Ryan Choi, who is mentioned many times on the show, especially to do with Nora, maybe he doesn't exist in this form, he never creates a suit, and maybe we get a new Flash Season 6 suit, and I think the show has probably listened to our complaints about the Season 5 suit, because I don't think there's been anyone who has been completely happy with the Season 5 suit. I think it is very much so flawed, especially in the helmet, which is not a cow, it's a helmet, and he doesn't have a chin strap, and it was all flappy all season. It looked weird, and the suit design was a lot more simple, and it kind of looked a bit bland, if I'm honest. It was just kind of all red all over, and maybe it was a bit too bright. I prefer the older suit, so maybe that's just me being very nostalgic, but I don't think the Season 5 suit worked, so I would be totally down for this. I think with them placing it in, there's obviously plans to upgrade his suit to maybe go back to a season 4 style or more along the lines of the original one because he's got the red emblem. I think there's definitely plans but I don't know if it will be the season 6 suit but for now I think it's either or. It's up to you so let me know do you think it's going to be the suit in season 6 that we will see. Okay so let's move on to talk about these updates in regards to the rest of the Arrowverse and so it was announced via Spoiler TV today on a post online that all of the shows have their official episode counts. They've been submitted, and that's what the CW is going for right now. So, first off, Arrow Season 8, 10 episodes is officially the episode count, and this is for the final season. So we knew this a while ago because Steven confirmed it. And so if you check back over all of Arrow seasons, they've all been 22 or 23 episodes, 23 for the most part, but the CW has been cutting down to 22 episodes of recent, so that is something that they've shifted to a sort of shorter runtime for a lot of these seasons. So season 7 was 22, and so basically why they're doing 10, why Steven said they're doing 10 for their final season, essentially it's just going to be a bit concise, and it's just going to be wrapping up what they had started. Okay, so Batwoman season one which is premiering this very full is going to be having 13 episodes so this is the runtime well the episode count for now and i think this is a number that could potentially be changed if the show is very successful in the first part of the season they can order more episodes in the back half you've seen a lot of shows do that a lot of shows actually wait until the mid season where they actually decide Oh, are we going to continue this or not? That happened to Constantine. They had about, you know, 10 to 13 episodes or so. I forgot the exact number. And they were waiting to see the response. And Constantine actually didn't end up getting the 22 or 23 episode count that it was supposed to get originally due to the fact that NBC wanted to cancel it. They wanted to shut it down early. So I think Batwoman is fine on 13 episodes although it's not a lot it's more of a episode count towards you know what they're doing on dc universe i don't think it's obviously going to be the production quality of say titan swamp thing or doom patrol because that is a hell of a lot of money they're putting into it that's why it's sort of 13 episodes they can't afford to spread it out over a season and the cw do a really good job of spreading out story and all their budgets over a long run count and so I believe that with this, I don't think they're going to spend like more money on Batwoman than any of these other shows. I feel like they're just waiting to see the response before they order more episodes because I don't think it's going to be nearly as expensive as say Legends of Tomorrow which has always had a smaller run count like in terms of episodes. Okay, so DC's Legends of Tomorrow Season 5 is going to be having 15 episodes so this is the lowest they've ever gone. They started with 16 episodes, they went to 17, they went back down to 16, and now they are on 15. So, not a big difference, but one less episode. And it was officially announced they're going to be shooting in July, which is kind of nuts, because they're actually not premiering any of the episodes until January or February next year. So they're obviously shooting before, so they have a long time to edit and get together. I'm not sure if they're shooting all the episodes in one go. Maybe they have a long hiatus and come back to shoot for the, say, the back half of the season. So I'm kind of intrigued to see what happens with Legends. 15, not too much of a big change. Supergirl Season 5 ha will officially have 20 episodes. So this is a drop. This is the same episode count as Season 1 had when it was on CBS. 
So I don't think it's too drastic. Some people are kind of freaking out over this. But season 1 had 20 episodes and I thought it worked very well. Although I would prefer more episodes and I would like it to be the same run count, like episode count as The Flash. I'm not too bothered. At, at least it's not under 20. If it was under 20, I would be worried. I would be like, why the hell are you doing this? But 20 to 23, good episode count. I like the sort of number because, you know, we get episodes throughout the whole year. That's what we really love. And with last season actually dropping down to 22 episodes, which also Arrow and The Flash did as well because they were all 23 in the previous seasons, they dropped it down. So it's kind of inevitable. I think that with all the new shows the CW is introducing, maybe they are trying to cut down on a few of the episode numbers because, you know, maybe it's just the production value of some of these shows obviously these are relatively expensive compared to say iZombie or some of the other shows on the CW so maybe cutting down the episodes gives them a bit more leniency in terms of what they're doing and I reckon for Supergirl maybe it's something to do with Melissa wanting to do some more stuff over the hiatus I'm sure she was able to talk to someone because she has influence and like Steven said he was part of the reason why they're ending Arrow because he wanted to move on and so I reckon maybe Melissa had something to do with this because as you know she does Broadway she definitely wants to return she had a blast last year I even went to see her she was so good so I reckon potentially with the episode count actually being smaller this may be a way for Melissa to actually negotiate her contract so she can do Broadway in the summer and then come back in the late summer to do the filming all the way around to April as they do every year and she will have you know a certain segment to do her Broadway stuff or say another film if she wants to do that so I feel like that's a good theory I feel like maybe she had some say because she's not doing Broadway this year because they're actually coming back very very soon at the end of June so they didn't have a very long hiatus and maybe next year they want a long hiatus maybe so Melissa can go and do Broadway again okay so the last episode count the flash season 6 officially will have 22 episodes the same episode count as this season no surprise here very happy that the flash is still at the same episode count because all the other shows apart from Supergirl are under 20 now obviously Arrow is an exception with 10 episodes because of its final season Legends has always been a pretty low run time like run period that's not such a big shocker Batwoman I reckon maybe you'll get some more episodes because 13 is kind of low right now for a CW standpoint so yeah not a surprise with the flash looking forward to all of the new stuff hopefully he gets that flash season 6 suit so let me know what do you think about the suit what do you think about these changes are you kind of surprised that Supergirl dropped two episodes? I'm not very surprised. They had it in season one. What about Legends? What about Batwoman? Do you think it's going to get more episodes than just 13? And what do you think about Arrow having 10 episodes to finish its entire run? So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.